I must have discovered my passion for biology after reading David Attenborough's Life on Earth and realising that what I really wanted to do was to protect all of this for the future. I first became interested in being a geologist after I went on an A-level field trip. Five days in the field, I was hooked. This shipyard was building a polar research vessel in my hometown. I wanted to go, but in the early 80s, women and children were not allowed in shipyards and I was refused. I was furious and said, one year I will go to the Antarctic on her. Thirteen years later, she picked me up from Cape Horn. For the deep field stuff, you really are just in a tent on your own or several days sometimes away from any other contact. One of the best bits about the job is seeing the seabed and knowing that I'm one of a few people that have seen it at that depth. We have huge challenges we're facing. Climate change. Pollution, greenhouse gas emissions, overpopulation. Sea level rise. Energy security, water security. When you're out pretty far from land and you see plastic floating in the ocean, it's quite alarming. Um, you realise that it's not a, a black and white picture and, and sometimes you get to the point where, where you're not really sure how some of these problems can be solved. But then you go back to the drawing board and try and work out a different track which might help. I do this because I'm fascinated by nature. Every time I get onto a research vessel, I have butterflies. I guess I love the idea of taking like a boring, functional urban space and turning it into something that's beautiful that's really good for the environment. You're filling in a small piece of a jigsaw. I love rocks. I know that sounds really cheesy. Because I'm nosy. Because I like to see progress being made. The science that now funds is absolutely vital. Vital. All of the work that I do is funded by NERC, so without NERC's support, none of this would be possible.